What do you think is the best part about this job? It's interesting for me, just coming from, you know, being a second generation firefighter paramedic, growing up around it, thinking about what you want to be when you grow up. You know, you think about firefighting and, you know, all the, the glorious stuff you see on TV about it, you know, hey. slaying the dragon and I'll all watch that. Chicago but, Fire, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. But definitely the, the medical side has been awesome for me. I think it's cool that you grew up in the fire service. I did not have that background at all. I came from generations of engineers, you know, all these propeller heads <laughs> and pencil pushers. But it was so hard for me to imagine sitting at a desk. It's nice being able to be there on somebody's bad day or bad moment of a day. Well said. Yeah. I can definitely say that this is the best job ever. You lose your hair young, but. I'm at a gate. We have a couple for a man with a chest pain. Quick respond. All right, Richie, we got an 87-year-old male, chief complaint of chest pain. Do you got any other details on the chest pain? Nope, that's it, dude. That's it. Fire medicates on scene. How you doing, sir? My name is Silas. What was your name? Jack. Jack? Yeah. Nice to meet you, sir. We're going to get you on our gurney and take you on over to the hospital tonight. And I don't know why you're having chest pain, and we need to get you checked out. All right. All, right. All of his vitals are looking right good. Here. We, we're good to go. I know you got a big cardiac history, huh? Yeah. Can you describe this pain to me right now? Same pain you had as a heart attack? No. No? The oh. heart attack came boom. Oh, yeah. Have you ever had a nitro before? No. I'd like to give you one, OK? It's a little tab that should actually help I dilate some blood vessels. Seven. Perfect. All right. Now, I was going to press. I want you to tell me if it hurts more when I press in. Not up there. No? Uh, down here. Down here? Yeah. Right about right here? Right there. He's not having any trouble breathing. My goal is to try to get a quick assessment and get him to the hospital safely. Hey, you're going to feel a little oh, poke, OK? All right. Did it good? That's it. <laughs> Do you think I'll die tonight or sometime in the future? Oh, wow. I'd say sometime in the future, but I'm not a fortune teller. I'll tell you one thing. I am not gonna die crying. Me neither. I was in the uh, army in 46, 47. In the Norwegian army. Oh, wow. I had dual citizenship. Ah. So they grabbed me before the Americans did. Wow, that's but unreal. This guy's literally the most interesting man in the world. You never know what the night's gonna bring, and it's part of the excitement of the job. Three years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. We worked together for 70 years. Seven zero? Seven zero. Oh, wow. Not bad, huh? That's awesome. This guy's been married for 70 years, and that's inspiring to me to see somebody put so much heart, dedication, and hard work into a successful marriage. We had a wonderful life. Uh, what's the secret? Be kind. Be honest. I just got engaged, so I'm pretty much trying to get all the help I can get. 